What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and we're back in RimWorld with the Alpha 11 colony, and it's, things are going pretty well at the moment, actually. I think last episode was pretty beastly, but we've got our sort of internal, external, whatever you want to call these, the walls set up. We're going to have another rail around the outside, hence why I mentioned them as kind of internal walls. And yeah, we're going to kick off by renaming Jen here, and I've already gone and randomly grabbed a name from the list, so Season, welcome aboard, my friend. Season? Season? One of the two. Welcome. Sir, madam, whichever one you are. In fact, I know you're a sir, but in this case, you are. You are a madam. With pigtails, no less. <laughs> cool, so things, as I said, are pretty. pretty okay at the moment. We are basically just working on getting this wall network finished, get the entrance over here done, and then we can make some more rooms. And I'll probably do this side next. Let's also get rid of all of these plans that are no longer needed and are kind of just making the place look messy. Hey, it's a bit easier to see. We've still got a little bit kicking around waiting for these rooms. We might as well get rid of that as well. We're about to do those next, so always manages to default back to steel when you haven't been playing. So these rooms, there was some talk about changing the beds over for bigger ones, but they are three by three, Roger. Three by three we can handle, and there's a turret in the way, which is fine. We'll just have to move it. In fact, there's two turrets in the way. Perfect. No problem. Let's get security. We haven't got any plasteel yet, have we? At some point soon, I want to start thinking about using plasteel turrets instead. Ah, you see, these are not also not going to connect up to the power like we want, so we're going to have to extend the power out through here as well, but that's fine. We plan to do that anyway. We've already got conduit running through some of the walls, and the idea is that the walls will actually have conduit running the whole way round by the time we're done. Hide it all in the walls. Let's not queue up huge amounts for no reason. A pirate merchant. Let's see if he's got anything more for me than last time. Uh, who was it that I was our social fella? Uh, DJ's not bad. How's Tip? It's the abrasive social doctor. Yes. Complete sense made. Uh, where, where even is Tip? Type toop. I, I never did look up how to pronounce that. Maybe I should have done. Come round, sir. Come round and call the pirates. We require whatever goodies they've got. So have we got anything to sell? Maybe. Maybe. An awful charge right. I forgot we'd picked that up, actually. That was from the last bunch, so that might be worth doing. We've got a power claw, which we don't need. We can sell Svejgaard, the scientist. Um, which leads me to the question, what was Svejgaard? Was he someone we wanted to keep, or is he one of the last remaining... Vast Waster Petavist. It was kind of alright, but is this one of the last remaining, like, really unwell people? Talking, eating and breathing weakened. Pain little. Doesn't actually seem to be too bad, so maybe maybe we keep Svejgaard as per the plan instead of selling off. You know, it's just tempted to sell people, but that does look like, in fact, we're going to keep everything we've got at the moment. Someone gets to run around with a charge rifle soon, which is cool. And on this side, once those turrets are built up, we'll deal with these. Also, the reason they're not getting finished is because there's no way in and out. So I am going to go. I'm going to go for wooden standard doors on the basis that these open and close really quickly and they're relatively cheap. If they're spread out like this, I mean, yeah, okay, a door might burn down, but nothing around it can burn, so that's probably going to be alright. And you only get used essentially twice a day, once in, once out, so we don't really need these granite auto doors like we've done over here. We are, however, going to want some vents. <gasps> beavers! Jump to location. Angry beavers. Angry alpha beavers. Um, okay, it's, the thing is, there's so much wood around, I'm almost kind of pleased they're here. Can you get rid of some of the cover that's kicking around here, please? All it's really doing is giving the enemy something to hide behind so far. <laughs> so much wood on this map. I'm yeah. I'm actually going to leave them intentionally for a little bit. I don't believe they're like actively aggressive towards my guys. They just eat wood. I haven't had alpha beavers that, that many times, and... It's always been either a case of... In fact, to be honest, it's always been a case of I'll go out and kill them straight away because I don't want them eating all the wood. Whereas this time, it's it's just not that important. We still got turret... Oh, we got a turret down the bottom. Good, good. So, yeah, these guys are 
happily eating all the wood around from outside the base, which is, as I said, weirdly beneficial for us at this point, to the point where they can't get inside, so we've got wood inside, we've got wood in some of the bedrooms, for God's sake. Not really much of an issue in that respect. Uh, still not interested in doing these turrets. The second when entrance in and out the base is done, so that should make things a bit more efficient. We might end up putting some on the sides as well, just for efficiency's sake, because this does slow them down quite a bit, having to run around. How's our... Why is it why is it saying that this is outdoors? Hang on. Ah, because of this. Oops. That's killed off all of our plants again. It, oh, damn. I can't wait until we've got this area sealed properly. I mean, I think we've actually got a little bit of herbal meds now. We've got a couple of the glitter world that we're saving. We don't actually appear to have any herbal meds. Let's check in the inventory. Hmm. No. No herbal medication. That's fine. That's fine. Buildings, wind, and seven snowmen. They've been busy. They have been busy. That's fine. I'll get them to... I'm not going to do anything now because I really need them to finish this so we get the warmth back inside so we can go back to growing again. Yeah, I know, guys. I've got to stop, stop allowing that to happen. But for the time being, it's very difficult to prevent. I could put a door there, I admit. But putting a door there stops the whole spread of the heat. So for the time being... I'm in fact going to leave it as it is. Bulk of goods trade up. We might buy some metal. I mean, we've, we're alright at the moment, but we, we are going to run out. There's not that much on this map. And then, is there anything else they might have? I seem to remember if they sell medicine, it's expensive. Yep, yep, as I remembered right. I mean, steel's very cheap. Buck each, but again, I'm not I'm not tempted. We have, we're out of chocolate. I might buy, buy some chocolate. Always good to keep people happy. Right, it's four they take at a time, so we want some multiple of four. Let's go for 80. 80 chocolate for a hundred bucks. That's quite cheap chocolate, I suppose. I'm sp oh, actually saying that. They're only giving you a few cubes. So, a few cubes that are very, very large. <laughs> okay, so inside is warming up again like it should. Good, good. And, and yeah, the problem is we've got these vents that are venting to outside because of where the turrets are. And they're less inclined to do the turrets, I think, because it's such a long way round. They are attacking immediately. Ooh, that is a big old bunch of people. They are tribesmen, though, so that's not so bad. We have our defences up. Let's immediately get everyone into our Oh My God Wargs restrictions. Let's also go and check the Oh My God Wargs restrictions, because I bet you they are completely wrong. Uh, so, oh my god, walks. Yeah, look look how limited this is now. We don't need to be anything like that limited. We can... There's no real reason not to have pretty much the entire internals of this thing now. Except for these couple of rooms at the edge here, where we don't want them going outside because they're not finished yet. That'll cause problems. And then bit up in this corner, and then of course we will add that bit on. But for the time being, that's our restrictive zone, and that should do the job quite nicely. It was right down here as well, wasn't it? Yep, yep. Okay, so everyone's going to restrict, and then we need to go and have a look at what weapons people have got, because we've definitely got more options now than we had before with that charge rifle. So, Season has a passion for melee. So, yeah, maybe stick with melee. Shooting social. DJ, what have you got equipped? Great bow. We might give DJ the charge rifle then. Cutting pine tree. Survival rifle. Not so I can see him down here. What am I doing? Pump action. PDW. Tip can't shoot or fight. PDW. Yeah, so it does look like it's going to have to be DJ. And we get rid of the great bow and give DJ the charge rifle wherever it's gone. It might be an awful one, but it's, it's a charge rifle nonetheless. Get inside, please, guys. Mad animal. Are you going to... You're going to be helpful? No, you're going to come and get shot by my turrets rather than go and attack them. That would have been far too... Right, right. Here comes the initial attack. Now, at the moment, these defences are kind of dodgy because we don't really have a way of, like, aiding the defences when they come out because this is the only way in and out. Because, again, this is another good reason to have a way in and out on the sides. But also, potentially, on this outer walled area, maybe we can set up some of those things we were trying to set up in Alpha 9 where we had, like the shooting platform bits where we could keep the roofed area effect but actually have some of the walls missing so that they could shoot out. Put those the far side of an airlock or something. 
But anyway, uh, Tip and DJ are asleep. Everyone else is fine. So let's grab the rest of you guys. Put you on duty and get you over there. And we've still got a remarkably small colony in the grand scheme of things. Oh, where's Stu B? Stu, why are you outside the base still, bro? You want to get inside and come around and be helpful? Slow things down as well. No need to give ourselves troubles. Right. So we are going to lose these turrets. No question. Especially as, by the looks of things, they're capable of um, using the Haxi Great Bows once again to do crazy things. So let's... What's this? Survival rifle. That's perfect. Let's get um, Sean in the doorway. Shooting back a bit immediately. Try and make sure we're sort of set up for a bit of an ambush in here if need be. Because these guys are going to get all over those turrets without too much difficulty. The interesting question is going to be how far like round are they going to come. Can we get Archangel up here outside as well? So we can have extra firepower. Although we're going to have to move these guys very soon I think. Because the guys with yeah, the bows are coming in. Get back. And they're shooting at Sean. Sean, get inside. Yeah, Sean took a hit there. Took a hit. So, they are probably, I imagine, going to try and work their way around the outside of the base. Now, that's done. So that's fine. I mean, they're just going to work their way around the turrets. Uh, then, potentially, we can jump out and ambush this pack of guys with great bows. Because the great bows are a problem. You can see our turrets just can't shoot back. The range is too long. Come this needs treatment. Yeah, Sean, go and, go and get treated. You have got the only survival rifle, but that's fine. At least we're still doing some... Oh, they're, they're fleeing already. Cool, right, guys. Do you want to all um, like run out to just down over here and give them some hell as they try and run away? And who else have we got? We've got... Oh, no, he did die. He got shot a couple of times by their arrows. I was hoping he was going to survive it, but apparently not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, no one's going to survive this. That's fine. Let's allow all of the goodies we've got kicking around out here. Don't forget to go and strip things. Black survived. Slothful. Cold tolerant. Cold tolerant is not a bad thing to have in this environment, is it? Health-wise, you are missing an entire leg and an ear. Yeah, 100% a day, extreme. I'm sorry, Black, but I think we might just let you bleed out. I'm not sure you're worth it. <laughs> Harsh, but so be it. Right, that's okay. We didn't... We took a little bit of damage on one person. Stooby, and... That's been it. That's fine. Let's go and strip black as well. Well, get that out of the way. Was there any other corpses around? Nope. So yeah, the only remaining question is what we got. We got a PDW, pump shotgun, PDW, and a longsword. I might take the two PDWs and try and see if we can't do enough damage to someone to take them down. Because we could really do with some prisoners at this point. Hang on. Why is Redfield so slow? When he's a fast walker. How badly injured is he? <laughs> it's because he's Hodor. Hello, Hodor. How you doing? In your second life. I'm going to let you escape because you're Hodor. <laughs> we have missed Hodor. We've sort of got DJ, but he's not quite the same. You know, this... We're not going to catch these guys, are we? No. Turn around, guys. We're fine. And let's... Uh... Turn the restrictions back off again. There was some talk about overlapping the joy time, which... They kind of are overlapping to some extent. The only person that's not overlapping is Season, so ignore ignore that. There is talk of overlapping the joy time, and we already are. This is indoors, unroofed, indoors, right. This is still all indoors, but it's very cold. Is that because we stood in the doorway, or, or why? Oh, it's because our heaters are off. Yes, I know a colonist needs to flick the switch. Please don't tell me every time. Oh, it doesn't tell me every time. It just tells me once every time I load up the game or something. That's fine. So, yeah, things are very cold inside, and I suspect it's because our fires have gone out, and our geothermals, which are running, actually don't generate as much heat as you would expect them to internally. Certainly not enough to be, like, a big concern. Doesn't help, of course, that we're still venting outside. Like, actively venting outside. And we can't do anything about that until they get round to... Building these turrets out here could be a metal problem, like lack of, at times when we need it. So let's let's deconstruct those two straight away. It looks like they have gone and done the power. 
that I laid down down around there. So that's interesting. They're kind of little inconsistent almost. We have a turret in here that is completely useless. We might as well get that one off the grid. And as soon as possible, we are going to get some speed things up. Granite wall filling these holes so that we can actually seal up the base. Come on. Get it done. Get it done. <clears throat> actually saying that. Oh no, the doors won't. Doors won't help because the vents are still there. Right, that's that one's now indoors. This is the problem. These are all marked as outdoors because of that and then they're venting inside. A housemate from Blacksmith Stream. Part of me thinks that I should be trying to do something about capturing those, and part of me thinks, is it worth it? Is it worth winding Blacksmith Stream up and having even more raids, basically? Um, right, let's get a wood floor down for all of these rooms, and yeah, we're probably missing the doorways as well. Yep. Cool, that's all sort of sealed off, so now indoors should be heating up a fair bit. The other thing we were going to do is these have sort of got a target temperature that's way too high. If we bring these down to like 15, in theory, there's no easy way of overheating at that point. But we've got all the heaters attempting, and therefore they might be a little bit more efficient, firstly. You know, the power, current power usage might drop. Uh, but also, we shouldn't ever have that problem of um, overheating things in the summer. Again, I'm surprised by how slowly indoors is heating up, you know. I could have sworn last episode these were doing a much better job of it, but... I mean, maybe it's because we've just added, again, we've just added a big area to this. And the whole thing's all one big area. It's all being connected, heated by these and the geothermal. So, it's, yeah, it's fairly hard work, I suppose. Have we got anyone on repairing with a decent priority? We do, but it's underneath constructing. So, potentially, let's put Sean that way around. So, we've got someone that's kind of keen to go and repair quite quickly. Because we get scenarios like this where... Just got broken walls kicking around. That should kind of be important. Did we end up moving DJ over to cleaning? We did. Good, good. Because I imagine some of these areas are pretty dirty and people were suggesting that there is a connection between... Ooh. Fault in an electrical circuit has caused... Yeah, of course. <laughs> has happened in one of the very few areas where a fire can actually take place. Let's just check the home region is... Yep, home region's fine, so they should go and... I'm not sure this needs to be home region, guys, you know. Yes, there's a dumping stockpile over there. No, I don't think it's that important that we go and look after it. Like, all of this stuff, I don't think it's that important. Hey, House, you're down there. It's, well, yeah, he was the guy we released, wasn't he? And he's, uh... oh, we should probably bury him. And it looks like we could also do with a few more graves once we get time. We're going to put a crematorium up soon, but for the time being, I'd rather focus on getting the, the sort of base sorted out more than anything else. Visitors are leaving. Cool, everything's repaired up. Inside is much more sensible temperature. Things have started growing again. Let's see if maybe, just maybe, we can set things up so that this time we don't lose all of the meds. That would be kind of nice. The alpha beavers are kind of still going, but they're pretty rubbish at actually eating everything. Like, there's a couple left. They've done, they did this area down here, but that's, that's about it. And now... Where are they off to? They're just leaving. Yeah. Interesting. I, so, you can just ignore Alpha Beavers, and eventually they'll go away and leave you in peace. Continue building. Okay, so those are kind of almost done bedrooms. Let's see what it's like. If we put... I think we're using wood for the beds, which of course is flammable again, but we'll see. The thinking is that it should be kind of more beneficial, even though this is going to potentially give them a cramped environment buff when they're in their beds, it might be more beneficial to have the large beds anyway. So we're going to try that on this side versus this side, which has the small ones, and see how they compare. The other thing this means we can do, that's eight beds, we have seven colonists. So we could, if we wanted to, now get rid of this room here and still have one spare bed obviously we can leave we could do with medical to be honest we have no medical area as it currently stands so we could do with that so maybe maybe let's worry about the medical area first and then get some more let's just worry about medical area more rooms and then we can go and do yes yeah, so let's get into the planning tool and the idea would be we're going to do something down this line again but we want to do 
so that's the middle there so you want to try and have another exit on this side I think because uh, it does seem to be very inefficient not having an exit and then uh, do we want these rooms to be the same sort of size I wonder how does that fit layout wise doesn't We've got two spare blocks so we could potentially make these more visitors make these rooms a little bit bigger which would make some sense or we could have I don't know, one particularly big room and then some bedrooms. Maybe that makes sense. We'll have a particularly big room and then some bedrooms. So we do the bedrooms as normal. Uh, two, three, there. And then we've got this sort of bigger room at the end of it. Which I guess will be... I can put medical or something in those. I do need kind of specific medical rooms. And it doesn't hurt for the medical room to be a bit bigger and a bit pl more pleasant than your standard rooms just because that way the uh, guys in there won't get quite so wound up. So we're going to have um, turrets in the way again, of course. But that's fine. This time around we're not going to mess things up and leave the place open to the environment. So we're going to do most of this stuff first. Whoa, look at all that granite we've got sitting waiting. I think that was all the granite by the looks of things, but still. And what's this? This is our dumping zone, is it? Have we got a dumping stockpile there, or is it just... Oh, it is a dumping stockpile. Okay. I thought it was potentially just coincidence, but... Uh, so... Tilly zones. Yeah, it's literally just in that corner. We should definitely not be having corpses in there as well, not humanoid corpses. We have more graves lined up. In fact, it looks like they've built them. Whole bunch of... I've built them and used them already. And then we have... This is like our big dumping stockpile out the back. So, yeah, that, that should be enough on its own. This, this stuff should all get moved. And that should all be fine. Tell you what tell you what would make sense with this is if I cancel all of the stuff in there put a granite wall there and as we wanted a granite auto door slap bang in the center once all this is complete I can then go and build in the insides knowing that there's no way we're going to expose it to outside that'd be quite nice how's Svegard, Svegard, I, I have no idea. How's your persuasion doing, my man? You coming over? I'm difficulty 89, so he is hard. Yeah. Get in there. Get in there, convinced a bit. All this rubbish needs hauling. Get it out of the base. Name of this. Same with all this trash in here. We've got trees in the corridors. Slag around the geothermal. <laughs> I suppose on that basis, the easiest way to deal with trees in the corridors and also to make people a little bit happier and speed things up is we can now actually give our base a floor. And the wonderful bit about floor is it takes them no time at all to put it down. What's this? What's wrong? We have little bits of floor already. Weird. <laughs> Just tiny little bits. Power seems okay. Sort of getting things done. We have someone doing crafting. Yeah, we move Sean over. And that's most, mostly from the perspective that we do need the, the stone cutting going consistently. Hopefully we've still got granite kicking around. Maybe we don't. Maybe we're running low on granite. Actually have to go and mine some. I think we might actually have to go and mine some. Only 27 bars of food. Yeah, that's the effect of the place in here repeatedly getting cold. And this stuff is looking like it might not grow in time. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Excuse me. Throat getting a little rough. Okay, then it is time to go and find some meat. There is meat kicking around all over the place just waiting. So that's one of the benefits of them repeatedly dropping it. Of course, we've got to find it. It's around here somewhere. That's one batch. I swear there was some some closer than that. But yes, meat is at least red on white is better than red on green. I was about to say meat meat is red. Red is bad for me. But I 
Okay, no more obvious. Let's send them off to get that. Look, people are going, yeah, people are going miles out of their way now to find granite. All the way down here. I think we did... No, that was slate. We got this suspicious-looking room down there as well, which we're not going to mess with quite yet. And then this is all... What is this? This is all granite, so we could probably make sense to mine some of it. That's designated. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, hang on. That's a bit of wall. Okay, may maybe... Maybe we'll be a bit more careful there, then. Is this all granite as well? Yep. Big lump of granite. That's fine. That needs to be got rid of anyway. And this too? Yeah. Sweet. Right. Well, these, as I said, these, these are just offering cover for the enemy. These need to be got rid of anyway, so... Uh, should, I think, put a no-roof region over this just to stop it from collapsing on us. That should mean we get a bit more granite in. Metal supplies are kind of all right. Yes, yes, I know the food is low. It's not that low. It's not got potatoes. And incoming meat. Which I apparently... Oh, that's venison. We had two types of meat in the same place. I see. <laughs> kind of mad, but hey. Exotic goods trader. Again, probably a bit early in the game for these guys to be that useful, but we'll see. What do you got for us? Other than the ability to sell rubbish clothes. All that rubbish. Right, you've got the Glitter World meds, which we shouldn't need anymore. We've got Power Claw, Bionic Eye, probably too expensive. Yes, way too expensive. Ah, damn it, I wanted the Bionic Eye. Could have given, given DJ his second eye. Ooh, would have been exciting, but apparently not. We are we are too short on cash. Did, we did get a TV last time, I thought. Where did we put it? Oh, we put it in the kitchen, didn't we? There we go. Not that I've seen anyone actually go and watch the TV as of yet, but I haven't really been paying that much attention, so that's fine. Still loads of stuff kicking around outside. People that need burying, etc. The things feel pretty inefficient at the moment, I have to say. I suppose there is a lot to do. There is a lot going on. These guys are all sharing a bedroom still. I think it is probably about time when we come to the morning to get rid of the extra beds in here so they actually go and use the proper beds. They can share for medical, that's fine, until we get the, the new rooms up. But we have enough individual bedrooms for people to go and make use of them. Let's uh, haul those two as well. Mad flooring going on. Oh, that's fine. I said we kind of need it. Food supplies are possible. Might be okay. 54, 61. Yeah, we might just manage, especially as it's the berries that are done first. They don't need cooking, so they'll immediately be available to eat. No hanging around. So, uh, yeah, might just work out. Track me flippin's doing some what? Building a snowman, Roger. Span no roof, can we? We still can't get at this bit here. It's, it's the bit I'm kind of worried about, but what are you gonna do? The story, I, I've been informed that I have to call it the story lord. Uh, go and check the comments on the last video as to why, but the story lord is being very quiet on us. Very pleasant. Poke poke, story lord. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Poking the storyteller now, really asking for trouble. Okay, what you've got is like traders. Traders for days. Um Okay, I don't remember calling the prairie dog prairie dogs. What are you guys got? You will buy our EMP grenades and our rubbishy grape bows and our Molotov cocktails we don't want and our peelers. All of this trash. You'll buy Savage Guard if we want. He's worth more now, apparently. Is that because he's in slightly better condition or just because you're willing to pay more? We could. Right, why is he so cheap? We can afford Bowers, but... What is it about Bowers that... Aha! Okay, so... He is 62 and he is, like, 
another DJ for all intents and purposes. But it's also incapable of. D <laughs> okay, Bowers is cheap because Bowers is terrible. Roger that. That does make some sense. Right, in which case, there's nothing really we want from here. We could buy beer, but I can't see any point in that. And then I don't know whether because we got these two we have Strombus Travelers and yeah, it was the Meteor Consortium that uh, we spoke to the first time. So we can talk to Strombus as well. See if there's anything here other than more stuff to sell. Cloth Parker. Yep, get rid of all this trash. You have a bionic leg, which again we can't afford. Cheaper Glitter World Medicine room. This person. Again, it's just nothing that I could go with a, another... We've got a telescope, we don't even need another... Te no, it's useless, just give us monies. All good. Their hauling priorities seem to be pretty decent, so part of me wonders, like... We're not out of granite, we're not out of wood, we're not out of metal. So is... Have we just not got enough people on construction? Sean's crafting instead of... Uh, Sean's repairing instead of crafting. That's actually kind of fine, that makes sense. So the main construction is being done by tip, and only tip. That might be part of the problem. That's why um, DJ is always down as being a bit hurt either. But yeah, we could do with another constructor to get these things happening quicker. But in reality that other constructor needs to come from a new colonist rather than from us reassigning one of our existing at the moment things seems to be working reasonably well I don't know actually Stuby is doing a lot of cleaning is there really no hauling that he's doing no plant cutting and no I suppose yeah no growing makes sense no one's Stuby's still restricted I was about to say no one's still restricted are they yeah now all of a sudden Stuby's got like a bunch of other stuff he wants to do Accidentally missed that one in the list. That would explain some of the uh, apparent inefficiency. And of course some of it's because they're charging up here to grab this meat that I told them to get, aren't they? More geo, you see. This is looking fairly promising in that respect. A slate wall with an opening. Kind of weird. More compact steel. I'm not seeing any gold on this map yet. Nor am I entirely sure where you'd find it. There's just not that much in the way of mountain here. Most of it's snow. So yeah, at some point I think that will probably become slightly problematic because most of it is snow. But for now, we are okay. Right, these guys, how are you looking character? Uh, needs constraining clothes. Oh yeah. So yeah, they do get a cramped environment. But they also get extremely comfortable. So... I think that probably works out in our favour. Only just, but it'll save us a bit of space in the long run as well, which is fine. And it's nice to see people pleased finally with their accommodation. Yes, yeah, slow food again, but that should be fine. Our plants are, are grown, in fact. Stuby. Or whoever is chief plant cutter. I think it's Stuby, isn't it? No, chief plant cutter. No, chief plant cutter is Stuby. Stu. Here are some gear. Go and cut some plants. Look, these things are fully grown, bro. Uh, it's, it's funny, that shouldn't... The priority order should mean that he shouldn't just continue doing that job. Mining is four. Growing is three. So And above it in the order. So he should... And um, thinking about it, plant cutting's on three as well. So he should ditch the mining to go down and cut these plants, which are... Uh, no, there's 100% growth rate. They're not quite grown. That's the problem. Ignore me. Glancing at the wrong bit of screen. Okay, so very soon. Very soon. Sean's doing the granite, which we now have a bunch of. Season is exhausted from... People are exhausting themselves again in this kind of... Sean and Season in this weird way, and... I mean, they have forced sleep. Do I need to put another hour in for people? Sleep. Let's put another hour in and see what happens. Seems a bit ridiculous, but hey. Also, what time is it? Season's going to be naught hours. So he's he's literally going to bed after he takes this back. 
she's literally. I don't know. I don't know what to do with the people where their name doesn't match the character. <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna come in, drop that off in the freezer, which I've been told is tiny and insignificant, and then. Just now it's March. I think I might need to go and uh, turn our cooling system back on again. Yeah, this is very inefficient. I have to walk all the way around there at the moment. I might. In fact, let's sort that out immediately because that's going to continue to be a bit of a pain. Uh, so, we have a granite auto door, and then I think we'll do this same sort of thing here where we have a wall. One of these, these are five long. So, that should be right. And then, unfortunately, it doesn't quite line up. It should be there, but hey. Uh, wood. Wooden door, and then we can deconstruct that one afterwards. That's fine. So much wood, it should not take them long to get that done. Okay, so down here we have a little bit more of it done. I need that whole line finished, really. We also need to, because our turret is back indoors again, set up some out here on. If they're on the corners, they do just cross over in the middle. By the looks of things, should be able to put them in a position where they've just got range of fire on the door from both edges. Actually, for now, that might be quite a nice setup. Of course, these turrets are all gone as well. Whoops. Didn't even think of that. But yeah, we've. Uh, I'm a far away. One, two, three, four, five. So five out from the point of. from the central point on the side here. That's one, two, three, four, five. There we go, and same up here. Which is fine, because this one was slightly too close, which is why it did actually end up damaging things. These ones are done, so I won't bother replacing those, but all the other ones need either rebuilding or are indoors, neither of which is ideal. Well, we do have that one there, but I guess on one side we will be slightly over-equipped. We can make use with that, make do with that. That's fine. Still need a research project, I know. Laystrat is leaving. Yeah, a bit concerned. I hadn't noticed that we didn't have the... The, the turrets back up again, and that's slightly concerning. Yeah, that's why it's slightly concerning. <laughs> they will prepare for a while, then attack. What we got? We got another big bunch of tribesmen, so maybe. Just relaxing socially, no, you're not. No, you cannot prioritize. Stubi is not a constructor. Jack, go and get that done. Everyone else is going to bed. And these things aren't going to be connected up to the power network either because we haven't got power cables that run close enough to them. That one will do that, but down here we're miles off having power. Uh, this corner doesn't matter so much, so... Jack, you are mining granite. No, you're not. You are getting that thing finished. ASAP. And we might this time try and meet them outside instead. Yep. Here they come. Roof collapse. I knew it was going to do that just because it wouldn't let me set that. I mean, uh, no roof area. Look, that bit. Damn it. Okay, so they are coming and we have. No turrets up on that side. None at all. Nor will we have power for them if we did. What do I think they're going to end up doing? Because they're either going to come round on us, because there is no easy way into the base, or they're going to try and break their way into the base. Either way. First thing, full restrictions. Is anyone some ridiculous place? No, most ridiculous are Sean and Jack B. Flippin, which is not in the slightest bit ridiculous. Uh, let's have a look. 
they're coming from really close as well. Look how, look how bloody close they are already. Ah, ah, ah. All right, I'm going to start off with everyone on this side. Tip, there's no need for you to be part of this. Everyone else can be. Jack, you need to get your ass inside ASAP. Right, good. Everybody's in. How are they going to go about this? Right, they're going to try and go round and deal with the turrets, by the looks of things. Yeah, yeah, they're going to go around and fight turrets, which means they're going to end up around this side, in theory. They don't seem interested in breaking through the doors. This has become very, um... I don't know, it feels almost stronghold-like, except I can't put guys on the walls, which would be really kind of handy. The, the bows are... Oh, I need an exit there. I come out and give the bows some hell. Didn't take that guy out at all. They are tough, these fellas. It's a really bad way of dealing with raids. We've really got to sort out some of these exterior... Just get a place for our guys to stand outside, because at the moment it's not working. For now, let's get a bunch of guys here and try and like give them hell as they come around the corner, basically. How many have we got? A fair few, and Season's pretty useless as this bunch. Ooh, as long as we stay behind the turret, actually, this should work quite nicely. So they will go for the turret first. We have to be aware that they are going to... Um... Let's check. No one's trying to break in elsewhere. Ooh. Right, we've got a turret either side of us. They will shoot at the turrets first. They will prefer the turrets. Stubby's got a good shot up there on him. That's fine. Oh, right. These guys are again going to be shooting at the turrets. But while my guys aid, we need to get them to run away badly. There we go, right, they're running. And it looks like the guys behind are gonna run past us. Yeah, this is what we need. Cool. Uh, so that is them all gone. They're, they're almost escaped as well. You guys back to duty, and let's go and see if we got anyone, anyone that survived this. So, Minoka, the healer. Prostophobe, slothful, optimist, incapable of dumb labour. Not great, but in shot from exceptional pain. What have we done to you? Actually, not that much. Character. Medicine, mining. I mean, the slothful is really bad, but... We need people, and the Optimist's not so bad. It's not someone that's going to give us loads of problems, at least. So let's capture Minoka. And then wasn't there another one up here? Yes. Green. Green cold lover. Iron wield. Oh, this is all very nice. So did we break you? That's the, that's the question. Are you in... No, you're looking all right as well. Cool. Okay, then that's another one to, to capture. Uh... And let's also get some stripping done. Anyone die out the front? Yeah, no one died out the front. Everyone survived the... Yeah, because we didn't have any of the turrets done yet. Did they, uh... They didn't even attack the ones in progress, which is kind of nice. So, in reality, we lost one here and one down the bottom, and that was it. That actually worked out better than the last raid. <laughs> Completely unintentionally, but... It was nice that they were so kind as to come round here and fight where my turrets were. And it was also kind of nice of them to, uh... stand there and, and get killed by running past me as they tried to flee. I mean, can't ask for much more than that. Ooh, we got a few more bits of trash that we might want to pick up round here. Entirely for selling purposes, but anyway. Right, and everybody is... DJ needs to be turned off. Otherwise, everyone seems fine, and we can go and turn off the restrictions. Make sure we do everyone this time. And looking at things, this is also leaning towards a pretty damn good time to knock the episode on the head as well. Why is... Why are you sleeping in there? Is it not within the... Of course, we 
this area isn't in in that oh my god wargs allowed area is it nope that's our problem tip is sleeping in there because tip is not allowed to get to her bedroom makes sense okay and that can be cancelled as can that because we're never going to be able to get it Sweet, and I think, oh, 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 almost forgot to do our prisoners. Guess medicine, medicine, not that we have any. And guess medicine, chat and recruit, again, not that we have any. Really need these to finish. They are finally getting there. Hopefully we will not screw things up and let the cold air back in again. But hey, what can you do? So yeah, this episode, what did we do? We did a bit more work, we got our rooms finished, got the temperature inside under control, fought off two raids, which was kind of not bad, given that we haven't actually lost anyone. And we started thinking about exterior defense and working down here, admittedly, not with a huge amount of success. We uh, have quite a bit left to do with that still, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Some progress made. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. As usual, if you did enjoy it, please hit like, please hit subscribe. It really helps me in the channel. And if you didn't like it, let me know in the comments down below why. What would you change? So cheers, guys. I will catch you next time. Woo!